All right, guys. So it's raining here on the opening day of PA, and uh, so I got out of bed at 7:30 this morning, grabbed my bow, and just went out. It wasn't raining; it stopped there for a while. And I was walking to the tree stand. I seen this deer, so I ducked down in. I didn't have a camera or nothing; it was all in my backpack. And I figured I have six doe tags, so I guess I'll take a doe off film. But uh, it kept coming, and then I could see it had horns. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just let it go by. And then it got a little closer, and I could see it had a nice rack on him. So I drew my bow back, and it, it depending on how big he was, if I was going to shoot him, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't have my camera up. And he walked out, and it was a pretty good buck, so I decided to shoot him. And uh, so we're going to go see if we can find him here. It's still raining, so it's going to be tough to find blood, but there's a lot of us here, so hopefully we can get on him and go find this deer. About what time did you shoot him? It was about 7.50 when okay. I shot him there, so. So it's probably been about an hour. It's over an hour, and if it went, if it hit where I think he did, it should have got him pretty good, so. But the shot looked pretty decent, so hopefully he's down, down in there. Just come around the corner. So I got one back here. I got, I got like right here. So I was looking, I could see him. So I got down. So I got down right here. And I, and I could see him coming through all, all this stuff over here. So I drew back a while. I was just sitting there. We come out around this limb. And he stood right there. And, and I leaned out and shot him right there. Nice. You'll be able to, you can see where he was standing. Did he run into the woods? He ran down in. Okay. What do you think, LT? You gonna find a big buck? Hope so. He knows where he's going. So we're gonna go drop down in here and look for him. See any sign, whatever sign we can look for. So hopefully we can get on him here. Pretty sure he ran down in here. I can't. I don't know where. There's no blood. See right here. That looks like a super turn right there. Eh? He slid. Yeah. <clears throat> that looks good. That looks. You want to go up there a little bit, Julian? Walk that side? Yeah, this side it. over here is thick. I would hug this. That's where I'm going to hug. Yeah, I would go up there. I'm going to go up this side. Yeah, I would go up this side. Yeah, I would go up this side. Yeah, I would go up this side. Hey, okay, blood. Nice. This is blood, dude. Oh, it is. Yep, right here. Oh, that's definitely blood. Definitely blood. There's blood over here. Alright. I heard that crash. The sound was slowed down a little bit. Good job. Alright. Right here, blood. There you go, baby. Right here, blood. We had to go right through here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, sure, yeah. Right here. Oh, uh, uh, look at all the What kind of other guy is? Look at all the Found him? Yep. Oh, 
we can get up there. Big six point. Pretty nice six point. Nice, dude. Come on, on that deer. Bro, right, take this bow. down in the woods here. He didn't even make it that far. He's probably been dead for a while. Shot went back through him. Still don't even know where the arrow went. It's still in the deer. But uh, he was off the ground. When I shot him, I thought he was about 30 yards and he was probably only about 26 yards. Hit him a little high, but still made a good shot. And we got on some blood here, despite the rain, and we were able to find him down here in the creek laying. But, uh, pretty nice deer, actually. Actually, just a big old six pointer. I wasn't quite sure if he was an 8 or a 6, I just knew he had a nice frame, nice buck here in PA, and he, had a, he has a big old body on him, so, good deer, and tagged out on buck here in PA, now, I've got a couple more trips here, so, hopefully more to come.
came out here behind me. I wasn't really expecting that. I looked over and they're standing on the driveway. But uh, I expected them to come out of this bottom here where they came from. But I did not expect them to come back from the back right over here. Which kind of makes sense because there's so many deer up here. But there's no really heavy trails coming out from this bottom. So they, they must be coming out from behind me. And I'm walking down the driveway to walk into the plot here. But that worked out perfect. She come out in a perfect 25 yard shot. Slightly quartered away, which was which I don't mind at all. I kinda like the quartered away shots, but the shot looked perfect, so I'm gonna get my buddy uh when Jacob's coming up, he's gonna help track it and probably film, so I'm gonna give it down, pack my stuff up and go get on a blood trail here. That's number two, two for two this year. Two, two hunts, two deer in BA, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, got Jacob behind the camera. Come down and help me track this deer, load her up. And uh, we're going to go check the arrow here. I don't think she went that far. I heard a big crash in there, so we're going to go check this arrow. I've seen where she come across the driveway already, but we're going to trail her around here. I pulled my truck down a while, so let's go check this arrow here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I went the knock. Man, that thing buried in the dirt. <laughs> Look at that. That's bloody. Pretty sure there's a chunk of lung in there. <laughs> right head's still perfect. So let's get on the blood trail. Down in here. Perfect. Down in the thick <laughs> stuff. Oh, we might need to get lights. It's actually getting darker. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, she's right down here laying. Finally, I was crawling through all this thick stuff, tracking her. She, I don't know, she's just, I mean, she was running fast. And I guess she just didn't, she didn't lay a lot of blood. I mean, there's a lot of blood around here now, but. At first, it just wasn't a lot of blood. I guess she was just running so fast that it just wasn't coming out. Because when she took off, I mean, she was moving. And I don't think she ever stopped because all you could hear was crashing into the woods. So, But we finally found her, and that's good. So well, we'll get, all, get her out of here and take a look at her, see where the shot actually went. Because I, I thought it was good, but it makes me wonder as far as she went now. But we'll see. All right, guys, well, here she is. Took a little while to find her. It is really thick down in here, and she ran She ran a good ways, too, so. But uh, when she when I shot, she did take that one step forward there, and the entrance was a little far back, but I still think it double lunged her, so I don't know. I guess she just ran and never stopped, but uh, when we ended up finding her, shot was about 25 yards, and uh, it was a good hunt, and first, First time I sat in a tree stand all year in PA. Second day out hunting, shot my buck yes or uh, Saturday, and the first 10 minutes walking to the stand after the rain, and now her, I was only in the stand for about an hour and a half and got this deer here, so. So far so good here in PA. Good season going so far. Hopefully it keeps going. Got a, I got a couple more hunts here. Actually a good many more. I got a couple hunts in, uh, Got one in Oklahoma and uh, Sika deer hunting down in Maryland. So, well, keep the season going good. I'm gonna get her out of all this thick stuff. You want me to get up? Yeah, I'll get up. Yeah, I'll get up. You got it? I'm on. Put your legs up. 